Bird Watching by Arthur S. Trace, Jr. from the A Flint Holds Fire textbook. Do you know what a bird watcher is? Of course you do. A bird watcher watches birds. If you have sharp eyes, you can be one too. If you watch birds on the way to school or to the library or even in your own yard, you can learn much about the world of birds. You will have a lot of fun too. In the springtime, you may see a baby robin learning to fly. You will know it is a baby robin because he wears a spotted vest. You may see a blue jay stealing eggs from the nest of a smaller bird. His cry sounds like thief, thief, as if he were accusing some other bird of stealing the eggs. Blue jays may not be very nice, but they are pretty. You may see or hear a red-headed woodpecker drilling holes in a tree or telephone pole in search of a bug breakfast. If you're lucky, you may even see a hummingbird as he flits from flower to flower. He is the smallest of all the birds. He is the only bird that can fly backwards and he can move his wings so fast that you cannot see them. Once you see a cardinal, you will never forget him. He is fiery red all over and wears a fine red crest on his head. He has a song as gay as can be when he sings, what cheer, what cheer. The female cardinal has brown feathers and is not nearly so brightly colored. She is harder to find. If you go for a walk in the country, you may see and hear many birds that you do not often see in the city. You may see a hawk soaring high in the sky as he searches the earth below for a dinner of fresh mice or tender chicken. You may see an owl sleeping high in a tree and waiting for night to come because he doesn't like the daylight. Or you may see a lone crow perched on a branch of a tall tree. She may be a guard on the lookout for Farmer Brown, for she often has crow friends feasting in the cornfield. If you hear her cry, caw, 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 it may be that she sees Farmer Brown coming and is signaling her fellow corn stealers to fly to safety. When it gets cold in the winter, many birds fly south to warmer weather. But if you take a walk in the woods in the winter time, you can see many birds that did not fly south. You can see sparrows everywhere. They are used to snow and cold weather. You may also see some playful chickadees. Chickadees like cold weather too, and you may hear one chirping gaily, chickadee dee dee or see one eating upside down in a tree branch. If you have a piece of suet for him, he might even come down and take it from your fingers. If you want to see an ostrich or a penguin, you will probably have to go to the zoo. But there are enough birds all around us in the fields and woods to give bird watchers a lifetime of fun.